what really happened to these iconic 90s cartoons. The 90s were a magical time for cartoons. Whether you were glued to Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, or Fox Kids, there was no shortage of amazing shows to fuel your imagination. But what happened to these iconic shows? Why did some of them end suddenly, while others faded into obscurity? Today, we're counting down the top 10 iconic 90s cartoons and diving deep into what really happened to them. Get ready for a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Number 1. Rugrats We start off with Rugrats, the show that let us peek into the minds of toddlers and made diaper-clad adventures somehow relatable. Premiering in 1991, Rugrats was a groundbreaking hit for Nickelodeon and captured the hearts of both kids and adults alike. It stood out for its creative take on the world seen through the eyes of babies like Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica, turning everyday events into epic adventures. The show ran until 2004, with a brief hiatus after its initial cancellation in 1994. So, what went wrong? Well, while Rugrats thrived for years, the series began to evolve. Some say for the better, some say for worse. By 2003, the creators decided to give the babies a chance to grow up, launching the spin-off series All Grown Up, which fast-forwarded the characters into their awkward pre-teen years. The concept was interesting, but it lacked the magic and innocence of the original, and ratings began to dip. Why are you boring me with your life pre-me? Keep looking! Fans missed the charm of the toddler's wild imaginations, and without that, the show began to lose its identity. Despite this, Rugrats never fully disappeared. The show left such a huge legacy that it was eventually rebooted in 2021 as a CGI series on Paramount+, and it was also turned into a movie in 1998. Although the new animation style was met with mixed reactions, it proves that Rugrats still holds a special place in our hearts. These babies may have grown up, but their adventures are far from over. Number 2. Hey Arnold Who can forget our favorite football head, Hey Arnold? Hey Arnold! The show that balanced quirky humor with heartfelt life lessons, with its memorable characters like Helga, the tough-on-the-outside, soft-on-the-inside bully, and Gerald, Arnold's ever-loyal best friend, Hey Arnold captured the hearts of viewers. From 1996 to 2004, it thrived, beloved for its unique urban setting and emotional depth, tackling themes like family, friendship, and identity in ways that many cartoons couldn't. So moral, so compassionate, so giving. If only I were good and kind like that. But I'm not, so that's that. But for all the feel-good moments and laugh-out-loud gags, one question haunted fans. What happened to Arnold's parents? The series ended abruptly without providing closure, leaving fans hanging for years. Then, in 2017, Nickelodeon finally gave us what we'd been waiting for, Hey Arnold! The Jungle Movie. The long-awaited film brought resolution, showing Arnold's journey to find his parents and finally wrapping up the mystery that had lingered for over a decade. While the movie was well received by longtime fans, it didn't spark enough renewed interest to bring Hey Arnold back for a full revival. Despite the satisfying conclusion, the show remains a beloved but bittersweet memory, cemented as a 90s Nickelodeon classic. For many, Arnold's adventures through the streets of Hillwood still resonate today, and we can always revisit them for a nostalgic trip back to simpler times. Number 3. The Powerpuff Girls when the Powerpuff Girls burst onto the scene in 1998, they weren't just saving Townsville, they were taking over the world. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil! Created by Craig McCracken, the trio of Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup quickly became cultural icons, bleeding action, 
humor, and heart in a way that appealed to both kids and adults. We lost Bubbles! Okay, okay, let's not panic. The show was a smash hit, running until 2005, and even spawned a theatrical movie in 2002. Whether it was Mojo Jojo's nefarious plots or the girls' heartwarming sisterly bond, the Powerpuff Girls had a way of sticking with fans long after the credits rolled. However, not every attempt to revive the magic succeeded. The 2016 reboot brought the beloved heroes back, but with a new animation style, different voice actors, and a tone that didn't quite hit the mark with older fans. It was a four-way stop, so I stopped four ways. Many felt it lacked the punch, both literally and figuratively, that made the original series so beloved. Though the reboot lasted three seasons, it never fully captured the charm and energy of the original. Now, there's talk of a live-action version in development, but fans remain skeptical. Will it live up to the iconic legacy of the original Powerpuff Girls? Or will it be another misstep in trying to modernize this beloved 90s classic? Only time will tell. But for now, the original remains the gold standard for superhero cartoons with heart. I still think they need a spin-off show with the Rowdy Rough Boys. Who's with me? Number 4. Doug Premiering in 1991, Doug was the story of an awkward, imaginative 11-year-old named Doug Funny, who navigated the ups and downs of adolescence. From crushes on Patty Mayonnaise to run-ins with the school bully Roger Klotz. Doug offered simple, heartfelt storytelling that struck a chord with many kids growing up in the 90s. It wasn't flashy or action-packed, but its relatable characters and emotional depth made it a favorite for those who preferred something more down-to-earth. But here's where things get tricky. After four successful seasons on Nickelodeon, Doug was bought by Disney in 1996. The move brought a whole new art style, different voice actors, and a shift in tone which didn't sit well with the diehard fans. The magic of the original was somehow lost in translation, and after just three seasons under Disney's banner, Doug was quietly shelved in 1999. While Doug will always hold a special place in 90s cartoon history, it's the Nickelodeon version that fans continue to cherish, while the Disney era remains largely forgotten. Number 5. Dexter's Laboratory Who could forget Dexter's Laboratory? with its brilliant concept of a boy genius secretly running a massive lab while trying to keep it from his carefree and destructive sister Dee Dee, the show quickly became a cornerstone of Cartoon Network's 90s lineup. Premiering in 1996, Dexter's antics and eccentric experiments, combined with the memorable dynamic between him and Dee Dee, created a perfect blend of science fiction and comedy. But things changed when creator Jendi Tartakovsky left after the second season. The later seasons, produced without Tartakovsky, didn't quite capture the same originality, wit, or charm of the earlier episodes, leading to mixed reactions from fans. The show's humor became more repetitive and lacked the fresh creativity that initially set it apart. By the time Dexter's Laboratory ended in 2003, it felt like Dexter's time in the lab had run its course. Despite the decline in later seasons, Dexter's Laboratory remains a beloved and iconic part of 90s cartoon culture, often remembered for its early genius episodes and its unforgettable characters. Number 6. Johnny Bravo Whoa, Mama! Johnny Bravo brought us a muscle-bound, Elvis-impersonating, woman-chasing goofball, and we couldn't get enough of him. Baby! Premiering in 1997 on Cartoon Network, Johnny Bravo's over-the-top swagger and hilariously misguided attempts at romance made him an instant favorite. His exaggerated bravado and iconic catchphrases quickly cemented his place in 90s pop culture. But after four successful seasons, Johnny Bravo fizzled out in 2004. Some speculate that Johnny's brand of hyper-macho humor became increasingly outdated as the media landscape evolved. The world was changing, and while Johnny's antics were a riot back in the day, they started to feel like a relic of a bygone era. Despite the show's end, Johnny Bravo's unique brand of humor and memorable personality 
left an indelible mark on 90s cartoons, reminding us of a time when cartoon characters didn't mind being a bit absurd. Number 7. Animaniacs Animaniacs was wild, zany, and totally insane, and we loved every minute of it. Created by Steven Spielberg, the show mixed Looney Tunes-style slapstick with clever, often subversive satire that appealed to both kids and adults. It's time for Animaniacs! It ran from 1993 to 1998, featuring iconic characters like Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, alongside memorable side characters like Pinky and the Brain. The show didn't shy away from pushing boundaries, and its edgy, fast-paced humor sometimes skirted the line for network executives. But not for fans, it was a non-stop riot of fun and wit. After years of silence, the Animaniacs made a triumphant return in 2020 with a reboot on Hulu. The new series brought back much of the original charm and energy, with the same zany humor and political satire updated for a modern audience. While it doesn't always hit the same cultural notes as the original, it's still one of the rare 90s cartoons to make a successful comeback, proving that the wacky antics of the Warner siblings have stood the test of time. Number 8. Pinky and the Brain Narf! Pinky and the Brain is another gem from the creative minds behind Animaniacs. Originally debuting as a segment on Animaniacs, the antics of the diabolical Brain and his bumbling sidekick Pinky proved to be so popular that they earned their own spin-off show in 1995. The dynamic duo became an iconic part of 90s animation, with Brain's overly serious, world-domination schemes hilariously undermined by Pinky's absurd charm and comical unpredictability. However, the series faced a significant shift when it was merged into Pinky, Elmira, and the Brain in 1998, introducing a new character, Elmira Duff, from Tiny Toon Adventures. This change baffled fans and diluted the original show's unique chemistry, leading to the spin-off's swift decline. By 1999, the show had fizzled out, leaving Brain's dream of world domination unfulfilled. Despite its end, the clever humor and memorable characters of Pinky and the Brain continue to be fondly remembered by fans. Number 9. Batman the Animated Series Batman the Animated Series wasn't just a cartoon, it was a revolution in animation. Dark, atmospheric, and expertly crafted, the series debuted in 1992 and instantly redefined what superhero shows could be. With its brooding tone, film noir aesthetic, and mature storytelling. Batman the Animated Series broke new ground, appealing not just to kids, but to a broader audience of comic book fans and casual viewers alike. The series was brought to life by the iconic voice work of Kevin Conroy as Batman and Mark Hamill's unforgettable portrayal of the Joker, creating a duo that remains unmatched in the world of animation. Though the original run ended in 1995, Batman the Animated Series didn't fade into the shadows. Its success gave rise to the new Batman adventures, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, and other shows that kept the universe alive, building a rich legacy that continues to influence superhero storytelling today. The series also introduced characters like Harley Quinn, who became an instant fan favorite and is now a staple of the DC Universe. Even after decades, Batman the Animated Series remains a gold standard in both animation and superhero media, influencing countless adaptations and cementing its place as one of the greatest animated series ever created. Number 10. X-Men The Animated Series Last but not least, let's talk about X-Men The Animated Series. Premiering in 1992, this iconic show was many people's first introduction to Marvel's beloved mutant superheroes. With its dramatic storylines, mature themes, and unforgettable theme music, X-Men quickly became a staple of 90s animation, captivating audiences with its rich storytelling and complex characters. However, like many great things, the series eventually came to an end. After five successful seasons, the show was canceled in 1997. 
a casualty of budget cuts and shifting network priorities, fans were left longing for more of the X-Men's epic battles and gripping plots. But hope is on the horizon. X-Men The Animated Series is set to make a comeback, with the revival series X-Men 97, slated to premiere on Disney+. Will this new installment live up to the high standards set by the original? Only time will tell. For now, the original X-Men The Animated Series remains a cherished piece of 90s nostalgia, remembered fondly by fans for its groundbreaking approach to superhero animation. And there you have it, the stories behind 10 iconic 90s cartoons. Some faded into obscurity, some evolved into something new, and some are even getting a second chance in the modern era. These shows may be gone, but they'll never be forgotten. Which of these 90s cartoons did you love most? Drop a comment below and let us know.